Hey, what's up, guys? It's Toast of Toasty Tabletop Games. And today, I've got another Battles for Bald uh, Battle for Baldur's Gate uh, set of draft packs. And I know, I know, I was like, yeah, you know, this set's kind of meh, but um, there's actually kind of more more interesting stuff in this set than I actually thought there was, um, <laughs> for whatever reason. Like, I don't, I don't know why I've only now, like, discovered that. It's almost like every set has different stuff and tailors to different people, and then sometimes things just go overlooked. It happens all the time. Uh, no big deal, though. Uh, I'm still after uh, my Ancient Copper Dragons and all that fun stuff. But, um, you know, hopefully we'll get it. If we don't, then I guess it's not the end of the world. As long as we get something cool and is usable, that's a W in my book. So first we got our Bronze, Walrus, Prized Statue, Basilisk, Gate, Nimbleclaw, Adept, You've Been Caught Stealing, Arms of Hadar, Your Temple is Under Attack, Cloakwood Swarmkeeper, Sea Hag, A Stirring Bard, Thieves Tools, Martial Impetus, uh, Myconid Spore Tender, uh, Scanos Dragonheart there, got Slaughter the Strong, Moonshay, Pixie, Baba Lasaga, the Night Witch, is our first rare here. We can sack up to three permanents, and if there were three or more card types among the sacrifice permanent, then each uh, opponent loses three life and you gain three life and draw three cards. Uh, pretty cool, like little engine to try and build around there. I haven't tried yet, uh, but I think she could be interesting. We got Hardy Outlander background. The Wand of Wonder, another rare. So for four mana and tapping it with a roll of d20, and each opponent exiles cards in the top of their library until they exile an instant or sorcery and shuffles the rest back into the library. And we can cast up to X instant or sorcery spells from the uh, exiled cards um, this way without paying their mana costs, uh, depending on what we roll. Okay, where one and nine is one, 10 and 19 is two, and 20 is three. We have a hollow dread uh, Linorm and an initiative slash undercity token. Uh, Wand of Wonder is pretty cool. Um, especially since, like, this, uh, in, I think in this set, the color, like, uh, is it colors are, like, uh, care about rolling dice anyway, so that's, like, right up their alley. Alright, so we got a, a Lightning Bolt, classic. Lantern of Revealing. Um, Arakakura, Sneak. Genasi Enforcers. Deadly Disputes, a great common. Uh, Tabaxi, Two Kinnears. Lurking Green Dragon. Sword Coast Serpent, Reckless Barbarian, Wayfarer's Bobble is another great common, Steadfast Unicorn, Druidic Ritual, The Faceless One, Taunting Kobold, Rug of Smothering, Sharpshooter Elf, Renari the Merchant of Marvels, Popular Entertainer background here. So commander creatures you own have whenever one or more creatures you control do a combat damage to a player, they get goaded and uh, you, you go to creature they control. Yeah, it's, it, it is what it is. Uh, cool for go decks. Got full art, Battle Angels of Tear there. Really nice pull. 4-4 um, four, four Flying Myriad, and then when they deal combat damage, we get to draw a card if that car, player has more cards in hand. Then each other player create a treasure token if that can, player controls more lands than each other player, and gain three life if that player has more life than each other player. So you kind of it, it kind of encourages this kind of like, you're, pr you're probably going to get, like, half this Myriad stuff no matter what. You're going to get it basically no matter what. Because uh, someone is always going to have that advantage over everybody else at the table. Nine times out of ten. So, yeah. But that's a really nice pull. Really pretty. Set our rares over there. I think I forgot to do that for the last one. So, we got Universal Solvent Hollow and a Treasure Token slash... Oh, no. It's a Treasure Token. All right. Let me check this last pile real quick. Get our rares out of here. It's going to be near the top. That's right. Yep, well, completely forgot. All right, moving on to our final pack for today's video. No, I'm actually not, I'm not upset with this, uh, with this one. That Battle Angels of Tear is really pretty. All right, we got Fire Diamond, Trailblazer's Torch, Kenku Artificer, Tiamat's Fanatics, Armor of Shadows, Guiding Bolt, Druid of Emerald Grove, Contact Other Plane, uh, Ingenious Artillerist, Parasitic Impetus, Pegasus Guardian, Skilled Nurturer, Run Away Together, Abdel Adrian Gorian's Ward, really fun commander to play around with. He's kind of like board, he's board wipe the deck. 
super fun since he protects all your permanent. He can he can protect all the permanents um, you control by exiling them under him, which is really cool. Got a rock, Geode Golem, Lulu the loyal loyal Hollyfin, Fey Wild Visitor, a Fraying Line is a rare here. I thought I think this is a really interesting rare. So you. Um, and enters the battlefield, you put a rope counter on a creature you control, and at the beginning of each player's upkeep, you pay uh, two mana, and if they do, they put a rope counter on a creature they control, otherwise they exile uh, a fraying line in each creature without a rope counter on it. And then you remove uh, the rope counters from all creatures, which is, which is, it's really funny, it's like a weird little board wipe. <laughs> then we have really pretty showcase, foil, dynahair, uh, invoker, adept. She's got haste, and we can activate abilities of other creatures you control as though they had haste. And we can tap her for when the next time an ability, the next time we activate an ability this turn by spending four more mana, we actually get to copy it, and you have to choose new targets for that copy. Really pretty card there. And then we have a knight, and just a knight token. So uh, yeah, that actually wasn't terrible. I'm, I'm actually really, I'm really happy with that full art um, battle angels of tier. Uh, really cool. Really cool. But yeah, I'm not upset about this at all. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. But uh, that's kind of all for today's video. So uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe for more content like this. And as always, follow me on my socials at Toasty Tabletop Games on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitch. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.